all this publicity. Front page news. Let's hope it doesn't attract unwanted attention. You worry too much, Nigel. I'll be back shortly with breakfast pastries. Nigel. I just want to say thank you for what you said last night. Your heroic actions were most impressive, and they did ease my conscience to a degree. <laughs> so you feel vindicated then? David Vickers wouldn't have risked a hangnail, let alone a broken neck, to save anyone's bum but his own. So, yes, I no longer feel conflicted about my decision. I knew you'd come around. However... <laughs> If you ever do anything to make me feel otherwise, I will have no qualms about pulling the plug on the entire thing. Good morning, Nigel. Good morning. Good morning, Jerry. Good morning. Oh, my God. I got, like, a million texts last night. Oh, my yeah? friends are going crazy about what you did. Oh. <laughs> Whoa, Mr. Big Shot in the newspaper. Yeah. And out. My dad got fired? Actually, I came by to, uh, to tell you about that, Matthew. I just think... What happened, Dad? Well, Matthew, the mayor decided that, uh, it was just time to make a change. Why didn't you tell me before? Because I just found out about it myself last night. Didn't the mayor think you were doing a good job? Matthew, everybody in this town knows that your dad was the best police commissioner that we've ever had. Sometimes even when people do a good job, things have to change. And the mayor obviously had someone else he wanted to put in the job. So it, it was political? Hey, how about this guy? You know what? That's exactly right. No, it was political. Look, I know that this is a disappointment for you, son. But that's why I wanted to come by this morning and, and talk to you about it myself. God, the mayor's such a jerk. Jerk? It's a perfect assessment, yeah. Are you going to fight it? Get your job back? No. no. It's a done deal. Then what are you going to do now? Maybe we can go on a fishing trip. Now that you have time off, right? Well, yeah, I have plenty of time off, but you don't. Uh, you've got school. No, I meant on a weekend. You used to work all the time on weekends. But now you're free, right? Oh, yeah, I am free. And since you don't need the money, you don't want to get another job right away, do you? Uh, okay, you know what? you, you got to stop pressuring your dad here now. This is all still very new to him. Yeah, sure. Um... <laughs> You should run for mayor. Oh, <laughs> thank you for that suggestion. But you know what? Politics just isn't my game. Well, then maybe Uncle Clint should run. No, I think we should wait till you're old enough and you run. Hey, good morning, Cole. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Cole, over here. Look at this. <laughs> the mayor fired my dad as police commissioner and hired some FBI agent in his job. A uh, former FBI agent. <laughs> Well, I'm really sorry about that. I've only heard great things about what you do. Thank you, Cole. You know what, Cole? Can I talk to you just for a second? Um, excuse us. Sure. Uh, what's going on? That FBI agent that replaced Bo, it's Lee Ramsey. Ramsey. <sighs> Listen, I know you've had your issues with the man, but I, I don't want you to worry about it, okay? You know, your mom would be very proud of you. The well, way you've just sort of kept on going with your life and your, your schoolwork and your sports and going to therapy and giving that party last night for a star. This was a very wonderful, generous thing to do. Was it as special for star as you were hoping it would be? Yeah, it was. She was really surprised. She had a great time. Good. It's great. Okay, come on. Let's go in and sit down and have some breakfast. Uh, actually, I can't. I have some stuff to do. Excuse me. I bet Mom's going to hate working with that new commissioner. No, she'll make the best of it. Oh, no. I know, Mom. When she hates somebody, it's impossible for her to hide it. What if he fires her, too? No. No, that won't happen. How do you know? 
Matthew, the Buchanans are respected by everyone in this town, and I know right now your world feels like it's been turned upside down. Believe me, I know what that's like, but uh, when it comes to your family, you got nothing to worry about. So what about an investment banker? Uh, Matthew, I think I'm going to pass on that one. I, I hear that's a, that's a rough business. I got it. A professional photographer. Mom's always telling you how good of pictures you take. Oh, son. Hey. Thank you. Okay? I know you're just trying to help me, but uh, I don't want a new career. I love being a cop and, uh, you know, thought of doing anything else. It's just, it's... It's not in the cards. Bo? I disagree. I was going to discuss this with you in private, but... Uh, well, we're all family here, so... Uh, well, we, then just say it. What? We need you at BE. No. No? No. Not even going to think about it? It's not for me. Hey. Paul wanted this to be a family business. He wanted everybody to be involved. Forgive me for being presuming, but um, your name and reputation would be a big plus for me and it's stock. Yeah, I agree with that. You being there would be a good thing. That's what you say. No, no, I know that. Look, I haven't even processed everything that happened last night, so I'm just not ready to make any big decisions. Okay, fine. I understand that. You take your time. I grab some fresh air. Both. Yeah. You think this through, okay? Don't just rule it out. I gotta go find a note, Matthew. Matthew, Matthew, Matthew. He'll be back soon, okay? He'll be back soon. I'm gonna call him. Honey, come here. Hey, hey. Let's just give him a little time to himself, all right? Matthew, let me tell you something. Uh, your dad is worried that you're disappointed that he's not the police commissioner anymore. And I think the best way to help him is to show him that you're still proud of him. I don't have to show him that. He already knows. I don't care what job he has. I just don't want him to be disappointed. Hey. You're a great kid. I got a lot of homework. Okay. You're doing a good job. He's a great kid. Very sensitive and very compassionate. Like his mommy. Oh my God. We have a moment alone. A very short one. Yeah, well, I'll let the voicemail pick up. No, 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 I think you probably should pick it up in case it's Bo. Matthew would want to talk to him. Yeah, you're right. Hello? Uh, yeah. I see. Understood. Clint? When Asa died, smelled blood in the water. Who? His enemies. He's had plenty. I don't understand. I knew that they would wait for a respectable amount of time before they moved into the kill. And now? Wait is over.